everybody, Jamin here from Game Show. Um, and today I wanted to talk about some comments left by uh, Marcus, uh, Marcus Person, aka Notch. Many of you know him as the creator of Minecraft. Um, so he had some very um, frank and candid things to say on Twitter. He expressed um, some of the problems that he's been going through in life, such as like a difficulty meeting women, a lack of friends, uh, being unhappy with success, a lot of which uh, made him sort of come across as lonely and cynical. There's actually a, a great profile of him in The New Yorker that I'll link to in the description that talks about a lot of things in his life, his relationship with his father. And one of the things that he tweeted was, the problem with getting everything in life is that you run out of reasons uh, to keep trying and human interaction becomes impossible due to imbalance. We've heard a similar sentiment from, uh, from Drake, for example, he talked about not wanting to make any new friends. For most of us with normal lives, it's hard to imagine that someone who's had so much success would be in a position of a personal crisis. I mean, think about all the amazing things that Notch has done so far. Um, in Minecraft, he created what might be the most important game in recent memory. Um, he then sold uh, he sold it to Microsoft for half a, uh, for two and a half billion dollars um, after already making uh, you know millions of dollars selling Minecraft to millions of people around the world. He outbid Beyonce and uh, and Jay Z on a mansion in Beverly Hills. So he throws these big A-list parties with the best DJs. He's got giant containers of candy in his own home and a giant entire wall of it. So actually, it's interesting. I think that loneliness in game design is is pretty pretty common. I wouldn't say it's you know super widespread, but I think there's definitely been a lot of people who've talked about um, sort of the nature of game design being this kind of lonely practice. It's a very demanding field. It often requires long and solitary hours in front of the computer, um, especially for you know a lot of game developers. They work on their own um, or. You know, maybe they work in small groups. If you remember the interview that I did with Robin Haneke a little while back, she said that you know one of the things that she really likes is being able to work with people. But for someone like Notch, that might not necessarily be an option. Davy Reedon, who made the Stanley Parable, for instance, has expressed um, his own feelings of depression after releasing his game. He drew a comic um, that I'll link to in the description about it. Uh, and again, someone who's ex you know experienced a lot of commercial success as far as game design is concerned. Then there's another piece that uh, Simon Parkin had written for the New Yorker that was called "The Guilt of the Video Game Millionaires" about how. You know, these rags to riches developers can be um, you know filled with guilt and resentful and not feel like they can connect to other people and then there's not choose um, you know expressed some you know very profound sadness in a very public forum that is Twitter so you start to wonder if there's something about the DNA of game making that can cause these distressed feelings even even if there's a lot of you know personal success what notch is expressing is very similar to things that you see in other creative uh, other creative professions there's a long line of creatives who were notoriously introverted um, in science Isaac Newton for example, was an autodidact and a deeply introverted. Einstein was, uh, you know, socially aloof. John Nash, for example, earned his nickname "The Phantom" for his like level of introversion. Franz Liszt, the composer, became increasingly preoccupied with death. Bill Gates and Steve Jobs also were known for being comparatively antisocial. Or, you know, Vincent Van Gogh's last words were, "The sadness it goes on forever." That's what he told his brother, one of the most famous painters of all time. So, as Aristotle has written of people, um, those who have been eminent in philosophy politics, poetry, and the arts have all had tendencies towards melancholia. And more recently, there's been scientific research to uh, support it. The neuroscientist Nancy Andreessen, writing for The Atlantic, and this amazing cover story I'd really encourage you all to read. I'll link to it in the description. She, um, just, you know, she showed some of her findings about creative people that she studied throughout her career. And one study found that a full 80% of people from University of Iowa's Writers Workshop, including Kirk Vonnegut, had experienced mood disturbance in their life, compared with just 30% of regular non creative people and Iowa, Iowa Writers Workshop is you know it's one of the best writers uh, writers workshops in the country you have incredibly profound and talented people who are passing through so one possible explanation for this is that creative people tend to see the world in just a different way that that, that that's how they get their insights which can lead to a harder time connecting with people um, which can lead to things like loneliness so I'm not saying that Notch you know um, is or isn't a creative genius that's for history ultimately to decide but video games are a creative endeavor so it's only natural to expect um, these creators to um, act eccentric or express emotions that we may not connect with creative success. So, you know, ultimately we should we should be really, really supportive of them. Um, you know, it's, it's one of these things where, you know, video games, because they're such a young medium, some of these things that we know 
to be true about creative types in other disciplines. We're just starting to see that now uh, with game creators as well. So obviously, wish, wish Notch the best. And uh, I hope this gives a little bit of insight into you know the creative process behind game design, which isn't just full of amazing, wonderful things and selling millions of games and becoming famous. It has its own has its own thoughts and concerns. Anyway, uh, I'd love to know what you think about uh, you know, Notch's uh, recent candor on Twitter and uh, hash it out in the comments and I'll see you all in a bit.